Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. The Charles Schwab API allows developers to interact with the Schwab trading platform programmatically. This tutorial will cover how to authenticate with the Schwab API and make some basic requests using Python. Prerequisites 1. Schwab Developer Account You need to create a developer account on Schwab's developer portal to obtain API credentials. 2. Install the required libraries, we'll be using requests for making HTTP requests. You can install it via pip. Step 1 Set up API credentials. Once you have a developer account, you will receive the following credentials. Client ID. Client secret. Redirect URI, 4 OAuth. Account ID. Step 2, Authentication. Schwab uses OAuth 2.0 for authentication. Below is a step-by-step -step guide for obtaining an access token. 2.1, Get Authorization Code First, you will need to redirect your user to Schwab's authorization endpoint to get an authorization code. The URL will look something like this. Replace your underscore client underscore ID and your underscore redirect underscore URI with your actual values. The scope parameter defines the level of access you are requesting. Once the user logs in and grants permission, they will be redirected to your specified redirect URI with an authorization code in the URL. 2.2, Exchange Authorization Code for Access Token Now, you can exchange the authorization code for an access token. Here's how to do it. Step 3, Making Requests to Schwab API Once you have the access token, you can make requests to the Schwab API. Here's an example of how to retrieve account information. Step 4, Refreshing the Access Token. Access tokens expire, and you'll need to refresh them using the refresh token you received when you obtained the access token. Here's how to do that. Conclusion This tutorial provides a basic overview of how to authenticate and make requests to the Schwab API using Python. Make sure to handle errors and exceptions properly in production code, and remember to secure your API credentials. Further reading Schwab Developer Portal, https colon slash slash developer.schwab.com OAuth 2.0 Documentation, https colon slash slash oauth.net slash 2 Python Requests Documentation https colon slash slash docs dot python dash requests dot org slash n slash latest feel free to explore more endpoints and functionalities provided by the schwab api to suit your needs